Hello from London, everybody. And today I'm going to do a quick review of the new Uncovered Intermediate courses from Ollie Richards over at Story Learning. There's a special bonus deal on just this week, ending on the 27th of July 2022 to celebrate the launch. And these courses are for you if you're in the intermediate already and you want to get to upper intermediate in Spanish, French, German, Italian or Japanese. Well, I'm going to look across the courses in this brief review, but let's dive in first of all into Spanish Uncovered. Here I am then inside Uncovered Intermediate Spanish, one of the five new intermediate level courses from Story Learning. The other languages covered are French, Italian, German and Japanese. If you're familiar with the Story Learning method from the beginners through lower intermediate version of the course, which has been on the market for a couple of years, been very popular, you know they're organised round a story. So there's a new story for this level, which is split into 10 chapters. And the chapters are the core of the 10 units then of the course. And you can see the menu down the side here of my screen. Uh, in addition to listening, first of all, to the chapter, you then have four video lessons. There's a section on culture, speaking activities, and um, a comprehension check review, and then a, a, a pep talk on method, really, from Ollie Richards at the end in each of these 10 uh, units or chapters. But starting then with the story, the idea is this is learning by immersion. So you pick up and acquire vocabulary and grammar as you go. You start with the listening and then reading the story. Then there is some active instruction. But to start with the listening then first, uh, in the Spanish and the French versions of the course, you have also the audio in uh, uh, European Spanish, but also down here in Latin American Spanish. And it's the same with Continental French and Canadian French. If we just listen then for a moment to part of the audio for European Spanish. Un millonario caprichoso, un coleccionista. Le gustaban las antigüedades y no le gustaban las leyes. So it's a normal speed by the narrator. Each chapter takes about four and a half to five minutes to listen to. And you're encouraged to listen a couple of times. Now remember the level of the story is the level that you'll be at the end of the course. So the aim is, yes, to be able to understand the whole story by the time you get to the end of the course, but particularly in the early chapters, you're going to have to be comfortable with ambiguity, with not understanding everything, trying to glean some of it from context, which is the way that learning happens in real life. I've moved over to Uncovered Intermediate Japanese to look at the reading stage of each chapter. So what you get here is a PDF of the text of the audio that you've just listened to. So we've got, um, you know, each one is about 550, 650 words. Uh, Japanese, of course, you have the issue of the writing system. And so what you actually get in the Japanese is three versions, just adult, full written Japanese. So mainly the characters with the kana mixed in as they would be in a normal Japanese text. But then you have some comprehension aids. You have one version which has the full Furigana included above there, the little readings to help you to know how to read the characters. And you have a version which is the one I have here. This is the third PDF, which is just um, intermediate level help then to read the characters. So characters that are higher than uh, JLPTN3, those of you doing Japanese will know what that is, um, you get help with in this one. So these are downloadable PDFs. And then you get the English translation. So what you could do is you could work first with the uh, the native, comparing it with the audio, maybe listening along with the audio, maybe trying a spot of dictation if you like that, that can be very effective. And then you can check your comprehension over in English with the English version. And there's enough material then just in this immersion stage of the course, I think, uh, to take up uh, to get an awful lot out of. Now then what happens is you move into some instruction videos from the teacher. I've now come into Uncovered Intermediate French to show you some of the instruction lessons then. There are four video lessons after you've had the chapter, the audio and the text of the story. So there's a vocabulary section, grammar and then communication and pronunciation. Let's look at vocab here. And what you get basically is a pretty traditional video lesson. The format's the same for the vocabulary and the grammar and for the communication one, actually, basically. And you have the teacher 
uh, they're all native speaker teachers apart from the Japanese where uh, the guy has learnt Japanese to a very high level. Uh, but he's great as well, Nick Goodwin. Uh, but otherwise, they're all native teachers teaching you. And what they do is they are pulling out uh, sentences, phrases, vocabulary in context from the story. So you've already listened several times to this. You might not have understood it all. And you've read it probably as well. So you've already had things brewing away in your head. You have some, you know, the ground has been prepared. And that will help you to understand. And you'll be ready to hear these explanations too. So let's listen in quickly on the French vocabulary lesson. We had uh, this sentence. Elle l'avait inscrit au club afin qu'il puisse se faire des amis. So the sentence, the whole sentence was saying that uh, in rea she, uh, the text was saying elle avait inscrit au club de théâtre afin qu'il puisse se faire des amis plus facilement. And that meant she had signed him up to the, uh... So as I say, this is a quite traditional uh, lesson, really. Uh, pulling out a theme, how to say, talk about certain things, uh, but very much based on the language that you've had in the story. And then you have a quiz, an interactive quiz, in each of the ten chapters as well. Uh, so there's a match, a mix and match, a test, spell format and flashcards. Here we are. Uh, there's a timer for pressure. Mine's at 166 because I started it running before I started recording. But this is actually the uh, this is the uh, match the cards, the first one, I think. So you have to choose. You take the English and you choose the French or the other way around. So go home to rest will be what's that going to be? Ooh, uh, rentre à la maison pour uh, reposer. Oh, yes. OK, if you get one wrong, this machine is used for slicing bread. Uh, then it goes red, I think. Yeah. So uh, you can you can time yourself and get through that. And there's actually a leaderboard then, so you can compete and a ranking against other course participants, other people who signed up, if you want to. Uh, the grammar lesson is very similar. We won't go into that because it is the same format. Uh, but again, these recordings, these lessons are about 15 to 15 to, to 30 minutes long, depending. You can download the the lesson as an mp3 or mp4 video it will be won't it what you can't do is you can't download just the download just the slides i think and it would be a good win i think if, if they change that it would be good to be able to download the slides i've moved into uncovered intermediate german to show you the communication uh, talk in uh, this is in kapitel 5 and here what happens is that the teachers take the vocabulary and grammar that you've learned in the first two videos of the chapter and they set it in a wider context, using it in a context outside the story. So I can see that the theme here is looking for a job, Stellensucher. So let's just quickly listen in to that. Arbeitgeber, good term, is a job giver, is the employer. Arbeitgeber, work giver, Arbeitgeber. I've moved into Uncovered Intermediate Italian to look at the pronunciation lesson. This is the final of the four video lessons in each chapter. And generally they're a bit short, although this one is a full 40 minutes, but often they're four, five, six minutes long. Basically you're revising the pronunciation because you should have done a lot of work on the pronunciation, one would hope. Uh, as a beginner. Uh, but this is good re revision and uh, let's have a quick listen. Casa, casa, or conto, conto. Allora, now what we next have is the culture section. And this is really like a blog post providing a bit of wider cultural context. Let's stay in uh, the Italian. And this one is about Italian craftsmanship. So you get, a, a, like a blog post, they're lavishly illustrated with some lovely illustrations. Uh, sometimes there's a bit of vocabulary thrown in, but they're mainly in English. And uh, inevitably, I suppose, it's a bit hit and miss with the topics because it could be anything, couldn't it? I know in the French one, for example, there's one about François Mitterrand, <laughs> um, which seems a bit, a bit offbeat. There's one in the German... Uh, in, uh, uncovered intermediate German about the German love for rules. So there's a range of topics. There's one on French food as well. Let's see what we've got in what's in lesson nine in the um, Italian, for example. 
Let's see what this is. Okay, that's Italians and Numbers, La Tombola. Okay. Here I am then back in Uncovered Intermediate Spanish to look at the speaking activities, lesson six of each of the ten chapters, with ideas for activities that you could use uh, for speaking practice with a teacher or with an exchange student. And there is in the additional resources at the bottom, if I just move myself over, actually there is a page right at the bottom here um, with some tips on how to find teachers uh, or language exchange partners. And I would encourage you to do that at this level. You get to practice your Spanish, Italian, Japanese, or whatever it is with them. So you get the idea. That is basically what you get in the course, but not quite, because what you also have are some training videos from Ollie himself. So his tips are well worth listening to, and you get, as well as sort of welcoming videos from him, uh, here's the general welcoming video from him at the beginning there, uh, you also meet the, the, the native teacher, uh, at the beginning as well, uh, meet your tutors. Let's look, this is in the Spanish one. So that's Maria, uh, a video, welcome video from her so you get to see her face uh, here. Uh, but then at the end of each chapter, you get a method video from Ollie. These are the same in e each of the languages. For example, he's talking about trust the process in uh, chapter two. Videos are generally three to five minutes. Let's have a look then at this one. Begin with story learning. I get one of two reactions. Uh, the first reaction is, "Where, where has this been all my life? Uh, so happy that this exists." And then on the other side, I get, um, "I just don't understand how I'm supposed to learn from this. I'm reading the story and I just don't understand it, and it's just, it's just not what I'm used to." And so, and then there's everything else in between. The uncovered intermediate courses are basically self-study, but what you also do get is a private community. It's optional, you can join that. And then when you're inside, here I am, you have, it's rather similar to a Facebook feed really, where participants on the course can post questions uh, and ideas. So summing up then, what's on offer from the Uncovered Intermediate Courses? I think the method is very brain savvy. So a lot of immersion first coming at language in context, trying to work it out first to discover language before you get some explicit instruction. Remember, of course, you're always going to have to listen and read a lot more and get a lot more immersion and exposure than any one course can offer. So although there's a huge amount of material in this course, uh, including the lessons as well as the story, obviously, uh, you need to understand that you're going to have to work with the materials, really expose yourself a lot to get the most out of it, and then have a whole lot of additional, of additional practice on top of that, including on the speaking side, of course, because there isn't a speaking element. But for this level, it's very full coverage of the grammar, uh, of new vocabulary, help with the pronunciation. There's great support with the private community. The content is downloadable. And uh, it's a great follow on if you've done the beginner level uh, uncovered courses and you like the method. But even if you don't, you can come in at this level and give it a try. Now, on the cons side, this wouldn't be for you if you don't like self-study and you don't like reading, really. The sheer amount of material with the 10 chapters with so many lessons within each one could be overwhelming, so you need to pace yourself. There's easily six months of work here. You know, if you're doing, say, half an hour a day after work or something, and maybe a bit more at the weekend, there's a lot of material here. I would take it steady. Don't rush yourself, but you need to pace yourself or you could get overwhelmed. It's quite a high upfront investment to make. Now, you get lifetime access, so there's no ongoing fees. Uh, but still, you, you've got to pay for the course. Obviously, it's not cheap. But um, on the other hand, if you offset it, you know, compare it with attending night classes or an intensive in-person course, then it starts to look uh, very reasonably and fairly priced. So there we are. They're the uncovered intermediate courses from Story Learning. And I hope you found this look under of a bonnet, uh, under the hood, uh, a useful quick review of the courses. You could give them a try. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Uh, so nothing to lose, really. You can suck it and see. And there are links uh, underneath this video you can follow to uh, get hold of the courses. Finally, we've got the launch bonus offers that I just briefly wanted to mention. What you basically will get as part of the launch celebrations is the chance to take part in a 10-week live cohort with other students. So you'll all be following along at the same time. And there are weekly live group sessions then with a tutor uh, available to you. So that might be something you like if you want a bit more beyond the general um, you know, ticker feed style uh, community that there is there too. And the other thing you get as a bonus is two courses for the price of one. So you can have a second uncovered intermediate course, or you can take one of the beginner level courses in any of the five languages we've been looking at, but they also have those for Turkish, for Chinese, and for Russian. So that's the introductory offer. The link is underneath just until the 27th of July, 2020. And if you're watching that, 2022, if you're watching this video after that, then I'll change out the links and you'll get through to the normal ongoing offer. Anyway, thanks a lot as always for watching. And it's been great to share uh, the Uncovered Intermediate courses with you. As always, if you haven't yet already, please do subscribe to the Vibe, think about a thumbs up, tickle that bell, and share the effect. See you soon.